Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the AJW, part number UX83-BF. This is a recessed soap dish that incorporates a, uh, a towel bar, is what it is. Also has uh, a mystery component in here that may not be obvious. Um, I know what it is. It, it, you know, first time I saw it, it was a bit of a mystery component. But here's what the UX83BF looks like. So it's all stainless steel, weighs about 1.35 pound, at least a dozen in its box. It has these dimples here, obviously to allow the soap to air and dry out. It has the cloth bar up here as well. Um, you get the impression that this is substantial, that it's heavy, the material is thick, that it's well made. Um, it does not feel a, like it's a cheap product whatsoever. You've got a raw or a mill stainless finish in the back side. And then all the exposed components are all polished. Let's take some basic dimensional properties and let's talk about why you might be looking at this. So the overall height of the faceplate, about five inch. The overall width, about seven inch. The overall projection to the ends of the cloth bar is about an inch and seven sixteenths, okay? The depth of the unit from the underside of the flange Looks like it's about two and three quarter. Okay, the overall height of the body of the unit, or the width, would be about five and a, mm, almost five and a half, for the height of that prep of that body, I should say. Looks like it's about three and three eighths. It's going to include your screws, and then it's going to include this angle bar, this piece of angled aluminum. Let's talk about exactly where this is and why you might be looking at this video. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, first this uh, piece of angle that's in here, and only AJW that I'm aware of includes these, and when asked what this is for, the manufacturer says, that part is, and I'm reading it, that part is actually a lip extender it can go on the edge of the unit to prevent soap from dripping on the wall. So, hmm, I, I don't know if they mean this. It's slide it underneath there. I'm tempted to say that they're not meaning that because that's simply going to leave a small void. I'm wondering if they are intending it to be mounted somehow like this, which I'm thinking is not the case because it doesn't even fit. Maybe like this, possibly, underneath. They might be thinking that. So I don't really know, except that it's a lip extender, they call it. Maybe you'll put it on the front like this. It has no fasteners, no self-adhesive or pressure-sensitive tape. If you're going to use this piece of equipment, you're going to need to think about exactly not only where you would put it, but why you might use or, or, or whether or not uh, it's designed... Um, functionality is something that's worth to you to install. Uh, we'll include a couple of fasteners. Now you're going to need to install this somehow and then to back up to where we were, why are you looking at this? Well, you're either doing new construction and you want to see what this looks like. Will this work for your requirements? Um, and by the way, it's made of stainless steel. Complete, total stainless steel. There's something magnetic back here and it could be a screw or a rivet that is used to hold that bar on. Slightly magnetic in there, although it could just be those areas of the unit itself that have been heavily machined or formed or punched. Stainless picks up magnetic properties when it's been worked or machined and it's definitely magnetic in those areas that have been altered, the flat stainless altered by the manufacturing process. Um, so you're probably looking to see if this will work. A very common client for us is the military. They're building barracks and they need 30 of these and we're going to need them in six months. They're really good at planning ahead and, um, and there you go. You might also have a home built in 1959. The home I grew up in was built in about 1964. It had uh, avocado green and then some yellow color Green was downstairs, the upstairs bathroom was the yellow color. And the point is, regardless of the design 
con the design, the in vogue colors at the time, um, which are of course popular now, um, had this concept, but a lot smaller. And someone might say, boy, I thank you for giving me the dimensions. Do you have anything smaller? And the answer is no, we don't. Um, and people are not faced with an elegant solution to go back into that mid-century construction where the recessed soap dishes are clearly not only, they're smaller in all dimensions, with height and then depth as well. So they're smaller in every regard. So hopefully this video will allow you to understand that. Now, you're going to need to install this. Obviously, if you're doing new construction, you'll have blocking back here. Those two screws will allow you to get that job done. Stick it in there, fasten it in. If you're doing a retrofit construction, you might need a clamp. Well, this client clearly is doing a retrofit application because the client also bought this clamp. This is the A clamp, the AJW letter A, A clamp. This goes into your wall. And then obviously through this flange is where those holes for the screws will go and it will end up looking like this. So the clamp goes in the wall then you need to bring the unit up to that, get the screws through those two holes, and then into the, these holes in the flange. And that's how that will then clamp it or secure it down to the, uh, to the wall thickness itself. Let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at some of the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are indeed looking at, the UX83. Let's take a look at some images that we have. There's the box, or the label. There's the unit itself. Uh, somewhat of a top view. A left side view. Top view. The back side of the unit. And then your accessories. Now, there is some extended description information down below. Let's take a look at that. Soap dish with washcloth bar and mounting holes. The clamp is available and is linked to there. 18 gauge stainless. You can do these in both a bright or a satin finish. That would be an SF if you wanted it in a brushed finish. The general specifications will pick up on the tech sheet that's linked to down below. Typical drawing of the item. Dimensional properties as well, a reference to the SF or satin finish. Fabricated of one piece, stamped construction of number 18 gauge stainless with two exposed mounting points. Standard soap dish has a bright finish. Outer flange that has a beveled edge. Internal tray, uh, pardon me, internal part of shell where the soap rests has stamped dimples to allow airflow under soap to prevent soap from sticking to the dish. That bar is fabricated of 3 16 stainless steel and a bright finish. Coordinate the uh, location and reinforcements. Use the uh, mounting clamp for stud walls if necessary. There's also a link below this video to the product brochure. And this will go over typical products that you'll see in hospitality or hotel motel applications. And our UX82 is indeed right here. Pardon me, UX83. UX81, UX83 uh, with screw holes. Now, the UX81 is a model that does not incorporate screw holes at all. And the reason that the UX81 does not have that is because it's intended to go into a wet or poured sort of installation. It'll have a couple of welded <clears throat> flanges on the back that are meant to grab the grout or the mortar and it will be held in place just with masonry is the bottom line or your your building your wall construction material bf and sf neat little catalog so you can look at the entire series you know the reason is if you're looking at a recessed soap dish you might like to see the other two that they have as well and then other products you can pick up from here be very typical to spec an entire hotel using just this section well using using this section and others from the full line catalog. Now speaking of the full line catalog, there's a link below this video as seen here to the manufacturer's page. And from here we can pull up not only all of the AJW products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog as seen here. Let's wrap up this video on camera. 
If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, nice quality item uh, here from AJW. AJW is always going to give you a confluence of uh, value. Uh, good quality products um, at a uh, at a uh, a price where you get some utility out of out of it, meaning you've you've achieved some method of, of value, a good pro product for the price that you pay. Uh, may not be considered the heavy dutyest of all manufacturers, nor the mo the most. Um, notorious or most widely recognizable manufacturer of this material, but they do a pretty good job. We stock their grab bars, we stock uh, some, you know, their other common items, the uh, mirrors, the some mirrors we stock, the um, toilet tissue dispensers, the paper towel dispensers, yes, of course, the grab bars, soap dispensers, things of that nature, replacement parts as well. Any questions on the UX83 and a BF finish or any other AJW product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.